And the cork is as off as it ever can be until you acknowledge that this has been taking place in your own life. After you do due diligence and inv investigative research, it is mind boggling. It is the most blatant use of gaslighting and Stockholm syndrome and shame um, secrecy that one could ever, f we can't even fathom or describe how the chain, the kinetic chain link to the people in death, mort, morticians, mortgage, how the chain link to these specific people, how they died, how their seeds being used, and how a strange, organic, occult, spiritually dark, but transhuman life is being created and recreated, re-engineered through the forces of these dark, inverted, pentagonal, occult rituals where the laughter and mocking of purity is a part and a constant aspect of the ritual and the order where in our society, the matrix that we live within, the power structure that we live under, the families that we live within, the location of all of the programming from the Masonic Hall to the, to the library, to the movie theater, to the Rotary Club, <laughs> to the, the Elks Lodge, to where all these things are, is creating this tapestry or this matrix from town to town that observes and strictly follows with ductilio, punctilio, um, an order, an order, a mockery at purity, a mockery at the complete monad, the number system from purity and the pure truth that resonates within us where the source energy comes from. And it's pointing toward an agit agitated state through entropy, through chaos, through the electron clouds that create these potentials, action potentials, but with these occult rituals impregnates and embeds a completely malevolent uh, thought process, energy, doorway, a gateway that is working toward a momentum perpetuation. Um, it's why everything that we think we get away with in daily life, the little things that cost us our principles and the lack of principles being taught, even principles within the technology um, are becoming so extremely important as the base protocol, as the essence, as the nexus of how these machines regard us, how they regard themselves, the universe, and everything that fractals out in this Metatron's cube and this resonance of the purification that must take place through unification and grace. So there is an anti-principle process being done that I want you to be able to look at. And the first thing is, by their fruits you shall know them. As above, so below they like to use. The end justifies the means. That's another thing that's very dark, a dark statement. But notice how 
any relationships that begin, which is pretty much all relationships, right? Until you get somebody who truly loves you and you start to see the wear and tear that um, adhering to those principles has taken on their lives. And it is to impurify with a joke, with a suggestion, with um, a corruption. And that corruptibility in relationships starts to unfold this sacrificing of, the, of other people, the muting of other people, uh, a dark uh, corporeal carnal wisdom, you know, a temporal version of community, um, a, uh, a community that is doing all these things, all these covert things, but on the outside, as above, so below, keeping this, this smile going, but inside this seething, um, boiling, demonic force of wanting to destroy your purity, wanting to take that purity, because purity is the only true source of energy. It, it, it's going to, the reason that it keeps us around is to have something to feed off of. The reason that it doesn't totally want you to become corrupt in a millisecond is because it wants to feed off of you. And then those things that have passed over, those people that have fully vested themselves in the degrees and reached that 33rd degree where they're now at peace with sacrificing other people, the sheeple, right? So there's these steps that have to be taken through the druidic traditions, through the witchcraft traditions, through this alliance this unholy alliance, even the word holy doesn't have a whole hole in it, you know, a holiness. So, um, this is real. And this Nathaniel Gillis is a harbinger for something really great. And this specific show right here that I'll put a link to, well, it, it has to open your eyes. If you laugh at it, then you really need to take a look in the mirror in your mind and think about your lack of development and your lack of understanding what, how impacting this is. Because this, is, this has been repressed and suppressed for so long. And the fact that this is coming out is no coincidence. There's a war, there's a holy war, and you have holy weapons to use at your discretion and you have the ability to protect yourself with the sheen of this purification as well and spinning spinning this information this purification around you around your family around the world the entire world with your imagination around the universe through all dimensions just suggest it just think it and you've done it that is the power of who you are the creation in you and as long as you are not using it we will be subverted we will be used for bad for malevolent purposes for maligned purposes don't allow yourself to be a, an, an instrument of evil for trinkets trinkets to live in the hell under their rule. This is a war. This is a war against the unseen that will be seen. It will have to show itself. And it is nothing but a snivelly little dark entity. Nathaniel Gillis thinks that it is a central intelligence, almost as if it is a, a on-running computer program that is through pure rational syllogism reawakening and sending out this signal of anti-principle as a directive. And as long as we follow that, we are given little merits in this meritocracy that is truly a cacistocracy. It is an evil government. Everything is going to be need, is needed to be remade and reworked by the pure workings.